Welcome back to Ask It Ball. Uh, we're here discussing uh, Steven's question uh, with Mark here too about, um, about video games. Um, and how do we know if we're doing something wrong when we play video games? And we talked about two questions we can ask ourselves um, to kind of analyze for ourselves what's going on. We said, is it, we can ask ourselves, is it too much? And we can also, also ask ourselves, is it an idol? And there's a third question for us to ask ourselves anytime something like this comes up, um, anytime you feel that you know, there's something taking a lot of my time that's not really you know, what we would consider spiritual, is this, is this wrong or not? And that is, is it edifying? Is it edifying? St. Paul says, all things are lawful for me, but not all edify. You guys know what that means? Um, edify? Yeah. Like spiritually benefit? Yeah. To edify, like literally, like literally it means to build. So he's saying, yeah, I can do whatever. All things are lawful for me, but not everything is going to build me up. Not everything is going to build me up um, spiritually. So what do you guys think is, is the solution for, for how we live our lives? Are we just going, like, <laughs> if this is the standard that we should only do things that edify, does this mean that we are only going to sit at home 24-7 and pray Agbeya and do Matanyas and not eat except once on Sunday and a raven is going to bring us bread? Is this realistic for us? So, so what do we do? How do we, how do we fulfill this idea that everything we do should be edifying? I think it's important to maybe have priorities. Okay. What's most important. Okay, so prioritize what's most important. So definitely do the spiritual things. I fulfill my spiritual rule. I do my Bible reading. I, I do my fasting, my matanias, whatever I have to do. I make sure that that's done first and everything else is, comes after. Very good. Also, I think we need to discern before we do anything. Um, if it's first and foremost, if it's necessary, and if we really should do it or if we should, you know, distract ourselves with something else. Yeah, very good. So, what if it seems that it's just something whatever? Like, okay, hey, my friend texted me, do you want to go play basketball later? Do you want to go play soccer later? Well, what about stuff like that? I, it doesn't seem that beneficial. Like, what, what, what attitude should I, or like, how do I approach that? Do I skip that now and say, well, no, this is not edifying, I'm not going to do it? Or no, what's... because I guess, well, if it's, for instance, you know, there's Tazbeha and then my friend <laughs> tells me, let's go play basketball. Obviously, if I go play basketball, then I did not make the right decision. Okay, right. But if, you know, I'm free for Saturday night, you know, I went to liturgy in the morning or whatever, I got my work done, yeah. and now I got free time, then yeah, absolutely. Okay, very good. So, St. Paul actually sets a rule for us too, and he says, this is, this is like a golden thing to live by. He says, whether I eat, or drink, or whatever I do, I do all for the glory of God. You know what that means? Whatever I do, if, if I'm eating, or drinking, or playing sports, or playing video games, or watching TV, or hanging out with my family, or hanging out with my friends, or going to Chipotle, or whatever it is, whatever I do, going to the beach, whatever I do, I do all for the glory of God. So this changes the stuff that we think about as non-spiritual, like, okay, in this time, I'm in my spiritual time, now I'm edifying. And then I have my relaxed time from the spiritual life, and I, and I don't have to worry about that anymore. No, there's no such thing as spiritual time and non-spiritual time. We have one life. There's only one life that we have. All of it is supposed to be spiritual time. But what it means is, when we're playing basketball, okay, I am I'm a peacemaker. Maybe some people are fighting over a foul call, I'm the one that's going to like make the peace and make sure that everyone loves each other. Uh, I'm, I'm giving glory to God through using the talents that He gave me um, to break your guys' ankles. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like whatever it is, when I go to school, I'm, I'm studying hard so that I can use the talents He gave me uh, and so that I can make my parents happy and so that I can um, someday get a good job so I can give to the poor and serve the church. All of this, like we have to have it in our minds no matter what we're doing. I'm doing it for the glory of God. If we find that in this thing, there's no way that I can give glory to God, then okay, then, then skip it, then leave it. 
For example, if your friend tells you, hey, come to this party, and you know that it's, it's a bad atmosphere, there's drinking and drugs and whatever, you find yourself, okay, I, I can't, this is not a place I can glorify God, okay, I'm going to skip this. But if it's another, if it's something else where it's like, you have the choice, I can either come and glorify God here, or I can, I can just take it easy and not think to myself what's going on. No. Go with the mindset, whatever I do, whatever I do, I'm going to glorify God. Um, what do you guys think about that? <laughs> it's doable? Yeah. It's definitely doable, but it takes a lot of you know. It takes a lot. Yeah, you got to be aware. Yeah. Basically, you got to be aware. Because it's really easy to be in a place and just like, just sleepwalk through it. Nothing about God on your mind. Because you're with people or you're, you're doing something distracted. But <laughs> when we have the mi mindset, where whatever I do, wherever I go, no matter what, when I go to the the store to pick up whatever, Gatorade. I'm there and I'm, I'm trying to glorify God. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Basketball, um, and I hope you guys will join us next time.